No, bro, I feel my hair came off. Oh, I'm ready to pay it. Oh, thank you, dog. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What's going on out there in YouTube land? Today I am with the one and only Marlon Cheeto Vera, Ecuador's finest UFC star, the man on the rise. A lot of people know him from the uh, UFC Spanish broadcast. You've also seen him finishing fights left and right. You know, I've known Cheeto for about six years. He was on the Ultimate Fighter Latin America back in 2014, 15? Sure, 14, yeah. 14, and so he's made a big old rise. He was living in the dorms, scraping by, now he's got his family out here, Costa Mesa, living the American dream, and just making it, man. So I'm really proud of him, excited. Uh, we're gonna get him going today. So he's got a couple things going on, a little tightness in his forearm, uh, some muscle tightness here, but more than anything, I think people want to know his story, how he came to America, and basically how he made that American dream. So uh, they can find you on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere is Cheeto Vera UFC, and you know, work hard. That pays off, and I'm about to get to get beat up with you right now. So do I do that to people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> said yes. The first time I met you, I screamed like like the. It was, that was my first time I actually have a massage like that, but works. I remember I came to Jackson's years ago with sciatic problems. I remember one of my toes was completely messed up from training in Ecuador and a couple of treatments and no more until today. Boom. It's magic. So, so we go way back. So yeah, uh, and, and make sure you guys follow him. He needs sponsors too, so send this guy some money. Uh, represent Ecuador, representing uh, Spanish speaking Latin American people everywhere. So he's a great candidate for a sponsorship. I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's go. Because I, I was lifting a lot and yesterday was my first sponsor since the fight. Maybe I overextend. Mm -hmm. Just this is sore. Okay. Yesterday during live wrestling, my arm get trapped in somebody's legs like that, and when they explode, like it was like kind of like break my arm like that. This thing right here. Ah, okay. Every time I'm doing something with my hands or bending, I like to see just. Ooh. It's like I remember this. I remember this <laughs> very well. All right. We met uh, when you were training for the Ultimate Fighter Latin America. So how did you get picked for that show? And then how did you end up at Jackson's? So the UFC literally called me one day to tell us like, you guys are gonna go to Jackson's MMA, you guys are gonna train. And then if you guys are good enough, you guys are gonna be in the Ultimate Fighter. So honest talk, it was basically Mexico against South America. So they put up all the Mexicans in one team, and the rest of us in the other team. So when I say honest talk, it was like the UFC Mexico was coming. So they put they put the good guys in one side, and we were the food in the other side. But they didn't count with us to fight back. So ah, that's why we're here. Oh. But they they literally told us like, this is your chance. If you show you can beat the UFC, you made it. And that was in 2014 and 2020. We're killing it right here. There you go. I'm getting killed too. Yeah, he's getting killed too. Yeah, so you were living in the dorms upstairs, oh. right? Like sharing a room back then. We were, let me see, there was one, two, three rooms, and we were almost close to 15 people up there. Oof. Hey, it was fun times. All those things make me appreciate where I am right now because it was hard to, it was hard to live, you know? Sometimes you get along with people, sometimes you don't, but it was, it was that or nothing, and if I have to redo it, I would do the whole thing again. You were team Verdum, is that right? Yes, I was in Verdum's team. Okay. He's a really cool guy. Yeah, yeah. I remember Colby coming to call the police on him for him <laughs> with a bone. Uh, yeah, with the boomerang. The boomerang. See, people, oh. nobody forgets Colby. So, so you, you ended up, you fought on the show and then you got a contract right away, yeah? Yeah, well, I I won my fight in the Ultimate Fire by, by KO. And then... Was it up kick? Yeah. That That's a, right. That was a sweet up kick. So, I was... You know, going to the semi-final, the fight that will put me in the finals, I'm in, in the actual UFC, mm -hmm. and then I get sick. I got full of herpes my whole body. I got fucked up. And then the doctor told us, like, you can even make wet if you sweat or train, you can die. Like, you're very sick. So they put me in a different hotel because I was very sick. Even if it, was, it wasn't contagious, but I was very bad. And then they told me because I was crying like a little girl. He told me, look, dude. You won well, so I give you a fight on UFC 180, so that kind of fixes it. Is that a one fight contract or is that? Yeah, kind of. So you had to win to, to really get a contract? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm very positive I got a screw in the decision. Even if it was 
kind of close. I was very, we both were very green back then. Right. I was thinking like, I want to fight. But everything happened for a reason. That made me change my life for good. Finding better. I moved to California a couple of years after that and find real training because I was in the Anchorage. You're from Quito? Uh, Guayaquil. Uh, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm from Chone. That's okay. where I was born. But more of my adult life was in Guayaquil. Okay. But there's not really training. Like it, it was more like. So life's a lot different there. Yes. Yeah. I would say easier. Simpler? Than here, yes. Yeah. Out there you got help by family. It's a little easier to figure it out way. In here, if you don't do it right, you're gonna end in the street. Oh, I guess everywhere, but I will say here it's a little bit more. Well, things are more expensive here. Yes. Much more. Yeah. And Ecuador is they're not the most friendly relationship with the U.S. government, right? Um, they're cool. Because they worry, no. Because that's where uh, that's where Julian Assange was getting asylum from the U.S. Because they don't have an extradition policy. Right. right. Yeah, he was saved by that, but. But they they still let him go eventually. Yeah, I I, I think he's in Europe right now. Yeah, he's in London. He's in the U.K. I think they're gonna yeah. maybe extradite him. But I remember the Ecuador was like protecting him. Yeah. Yeah, he was there for sure. I know. I know that. But from what I know, ah, ah, oh. oh. <laughs> Got him. The fingers uh, of destiny. Ah, uh, the finger. Ah, submission wrestling. <laughs> and probably the biggest uh, pop you just got was recently, right? Because you, you you beat somebody who was making excuses and was, uh, was writing you off, yeah. Yeah, I said bring. You you humbled somebody? Yeah, that I, I actually saved the division. You know, all the top five was already already having that guy on his head. So <laughs> you're welcome, guys, for that. He's <laughs> talking a lot of shit. Sh now he's quiet. And there's, Thank you. there's a weird misconception. They're like, oh, he got hurt. And I said, you hurt him with the kick, but also you finished him with elbows. He was out. It was not like he fell down with his leg and they stopped the fight. He got a spider pretty hard. <laughs> Eee, a spider. Yeah, those things bite hard. But, but you know, those like spider. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing, I don't I don't even trip on those things. I get, you know, my check, I move up. But that motivated you though, right? Oh, it, it, well, I'm, I'm already motivated by just myself trying to win a fight. You know, if a one is talking or selling it, good for him because he's making, bringing more eyes more to the fight. More attention to you. Yeah. So you're not going to give him a rematch though? Oh. If the UFC called me and asked me for, I'm already have a fight, so I cannot announce it yet. Uh -huh. But the UFC won't do it. I know I'm, I'm a nerd. I know how the UFC works. Mm -hmm. They won't do a rematch going like that. Right. It, because I beat the guy. He can say whatever he wants. Right. He's a. B but I won, so I'm happy. I'm in good spirits, and I'm moving forward. If later we both are winning, we are close to each other. Yeah. If the UFC call me. Dana knows I fight anybody. But it says TKO on the record though, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it, it wasn't... <laughs> it wasn't close. It wasn't... Yeah, that's why I don't I don't need to explain too much. Yeah, I'm gonna hook you right there. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Hey, let me know next time! Oh! Sh oh! <laughs> so what's your favorite part about living in the U.S. then? Uh... uh Taxes. <sighs> My favorite part. Traffic, <laughs> taxes. Uh, yeah, not that. In and out burger. Uh, it's actually really close by. You like it? It's good, but I I'm it's pretty overrated, clean. Man, I'm a water burger guy. Oh, you really? Yeah, man. I'm very clean. I don't. I do. You maybe, don't eat like that? Well, I eat. I, I cheat, but maybe once a week. Sometimes I don't even cheat once a week. I keep it clean. I stay lean, just in case somebody pull off. Lean, clean, mean. Yeah, very mean. You have to. <laughs> Uh, ooh. And sometimes I don't have any crave for nothing because ah, sh ooh, oh, ah, oh. hang in there, my man, hang oh. in there. Ooh. So who are you, who are you the closest to from the UFC Latin America? Did you make any friends in the house? Ah, uh, Diego Diego Rivas from Chile, we're cool. Yeah. Uh he came train with me for a couple of years. Ah, uh. ah. Uh. Uh, and then Jair, we cool too. Ah, yeah. uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, here's my boy too. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, shit. That's not cool. Uh, Usa, breathe through, my friend. There you go. You found a zen spot. 
Uh, oh. Oh, oh, there's no center spot here. Oh, f here we go. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Um, Damn, commentary, fighting, what else you got your hand in? Oh, uh, just fighting that, really. Commentary is like my side job. Bribing me up to the future. Yeah, it was funny because when you came to the gym, I had lived in Colombia for a while and then I was living in like a Puerto Rican clinic in Dallas. Yeah. So when we met, I was wanting to practice my Spanish all the time and he only wanted to speak English because he wanted to practice his English. Yeah, I was like, no, 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 I need my, <laughs> I need my English more than you need your Spanish. <laughs> And it pays off because now I can speak English there properly. You go. Exactly. Because back yeah. then, and I, now my Spanish has gotten worse and worse and worse. <laughs> well, you got ladies. Just yeah. I, why don't you ever speak Spanish to me? I try. You know, but I feel that was a smart part of me because when I get there, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this guy fix people. Because when I got there, mm -hmm. they were, it was only regular training. There was no privates with 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 the coaches. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, no, no. That's not how uh, I'm gonna. This guy fix people. I get close to this guy. This guy have good mid work. I'm gonna ask him how much for class. I, and I think I was the only one doing that. Really? You hey. have to. Look where you're at now. Yep. Who's this? Nacho. Over there eating. Look at that. What are you doing, boy? Being, making silly faces. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, same friends. team. Same that's, team, man. That's sweet. That's we, pretty cool. We stay low, man. We keep our peoples and take care of each other, man. That's cool, man. I remember when I get there, there was the three of you guys. Uh huh. The family doctors. Yeah, that's there's, cool. There's 12 of us now. Oh shit. Yeah, we got 12 doctors yeah, now. You grow. We just expanded our, our, we have a, we have extreme couture. We have an office there now. So we have two doctors there in Vegas. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to do it is growing. We are growing. Yeah, he was there at the old, old office, the very first office. Yeah. Very, the one that didn't have a door on one of the rooms. Yeah. I remember I used to like borrow somebody else's car. To, to, go there. to go there. That car has no like no plate, no no <laughs> registration. They were like, if you get caught in your own, but it's Albuquerque. You know, like it's caught. only a few blocks anyway. It wasn't far. You, yeah, like ten. That minutes. office, yeah. Jackson's in the war zone. It's not in a good neighborhood. Sometimes I was taking a pee downstairs, and I would see a guy washing his clothes. I was like, Hi, buddy. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, it's um, not not close to me. So our office was in the war zone too. Not like now. Now we have this fancy office with all this equipment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got bougie. We became bougie. We didn't even have doors back then. We only had one table. We were all blue collar back then. They come up. We all were. They come up. Ooh. That crack. Got him. Oh. Yeah, so. Oh, bro. I feel my head came off. Oh. F oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that got me scary. That was scary. Oh, I feel my fucking spine pulling everything. Oh. That was the one. Oh, shit. Construction. We built the machine. Hey, we built the machine. Back up. You gonna do it too? Cuidado. <laughs> Be careful, Thor. Cuidado. Puedes ayudar, papá? No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> oh. So what are you right now? Uh, 15 I believe. Fifth, that's it? Yeah. Uh, we're we're like number five, man. Dude, who are make the rankings? That's nonsense. It's media. Weird. I don't. Fake, fake MMA news media. I think it's whoever have talking to you, Vox. Yeah, that's that's lame. But you know, I just stick myself to whoop. Those things don't bug me. Taking names. Yeah. At oh, the end of the day, you win, you get there. There you go. All right, let's see how that feels. Mm. Oh, you feel the rib. It's gone. The better? Oh, yeah, it's gone. There we go. And this one, I was thinking about this one because last time you got me, it was gone. So I'm expecting this to be gone too. Is it gone or is it still feeling? 
This one for now is gone. Good. I, I, I keep it posted because it's normally when I'm like, if I'm washing dishes mm -hmm. or giving something to the kids. Go in your stomach one more time. But I don't feel like, oh boy. Are you cool, man? Oh. Oh. So after you came for Jackson, so you had a work visa then? Oh, uh, yeah, like a P1. Okay. So was it hard to, to to get back in the states after that? Oh uh, no. No. Because because the UFC is make it easy. Ah, because they have the connections. Was it hard to get your family here? Um, not really. They 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 they, they just attach him to my visa. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. There's my spot. Oh. So you got predictions for this weekend? Oh, um, I have Adesanya. By TKO? Yes. He finished him. Punch, kick? What do you think? I think he's gonna Punch. combo him. What about the other one? Uh, Jan and, and Dominic Reyes? I got uh, Jan with a big... Left hook? Big punch, yeah. They're both finishers, so I don't, that fight's not going to the distance. No. So Reyes with the kicks and the straight left, but if he circles out to the right like he did against John, it's gonna go right into that left hook of, yeah. uh, of Jan. I, I believe... Uh, he's got heavy hands, I man. believe Reyes lost the fight against Ozdemir. Yeah, me too. Everything he throws is heavy. And... Oh. Whoa! Yep. So who's the organization that pays you for commentating? Is that the UFC? Is that... Okay. Yeah. I know, I was watching a video and I was like, wait, is that Cheeto? <laughs> yeah. Commentating? With a suit on. I didn't, yeah, fancy. Three-piece suit, tailored up. Yeah. Like, look at how to. far he's come now, man. You have to. He's on TV in a three-piece suit. All right, see how that feels. And he likes the tools. Maybe a few practice. What do you still feel? Just my wrist. <laughs> he, he really wants to. He likes those tools. Yeah, I always tell people, when you work with me the first time, that was the first time ever that killed any problem. Yeah, he got rid of it. Yeah, like yeah. right away. Not even like in weeks, like just it one time. Yeah, they have the strong hands. <laughs> yep. I am I am I am not gonna crack people. Crack people. Cheat the bar you have seen. This guy's real deal. Since 2014, I know him. Good work. Well, and not just wood work, like it's efficient. Like touch, no more pain. That's the guy right there, Dr. Bow. Make sure to go follow him on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, anywhere. TikTok, anywhere. Cheeto Vera, the real deal. Coming to a main event pay-per-view live. That guy's going to represent Ecuador and South America. Represent for la I gente. Will.